Hello and welcome to this short video on how to be IIBA ECBA certified in 2024. My name is Ellen Mishra, Principal Business Analyst and Trainer at Adaptive US. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have mentored more than 6,000 BAs around the world, of whom about 2,000 are now IIBA certified. I'm also a member of IIBA Standards Writing Committee and Question Setting Team. I am a trainer, author, and blogger by profession. So if you are a person who is trying to break into the BA world, BA world is very attractive in terms of the kind of work you do, the kind of salary you get, and the kind of exposure that comes with it. So if you are struggling to land in a BA job, you are not getting shortlisted for interviews, or even if you are landing up in an interview, you don't do well in the interview, or you are being overlooked, for internal BA roles, uh, this is where uh, this certification can come in pretty handy. So if we look at uh, companies who are trying to hire business analysts, what are they looking for? They're looking for business analysts who have knowledge on BA processes, knowledge on BA tools and BA techniques, and also carry verified credentials. That means they don't have to waste their time and money in assessing your knowledge or skills. In fact, we keep getting requests from many partners, many recruiters saying that they are looking for people who are already trained and certified. So what is ECBA? ECBA stands for Entry Certificate in Business Analysis. This is the level one certification from IIBA and is one of the most popular entry level certifications for many reasons. So let's see what are the unique features of um, ECBA. One, it has no expiry date. So which means if you are an ECBA, you remain an ECBA forever. Uh, it's relatively low cost. It has low complexity of questions. It has less content and you can take it from home. So you don't have to go anywhere to take the test. And some of the benefits that you can get, expect to get by being ECBA would be get yourself recognized because you be part of IIBA Association, uh, which is the largest association in the world. So there are a lot of benefits that come through that. So you get access to a lot of resources, events uh, through which you can network and build your brand and also find opportunities for you yourself. In general, ECBAs earn more and people who are not certified tend to earn less. And as I said before, top-notch companies generally prefer candidates who are certified. So this can be your gateway to get into the world of business analysis. Again, as I said before, ECBA or uncertified BAs typically tend to earn less. ECBA brings up your uh, employability prospects. It demonstrates your commitment to the world of business analysis. And it also gives you a better confidence at work uh, because you have been trained and certified. So you always feel good about yourselves. Others also feel good about you. It also sets a very solid foundation for you on BA best practices. And for us, we have seen 76% of our past students getting benefit within one year. So you don't have to wait for very long. Uh, within one year, you will be able to receive the benefits. Then who should be looking at it? Anybody who is looking at getting into the BA role or you have very tiny BA experience, so you want to top it up. Uh, with a good experience on business analysis process techniques it can be very helpful uh, professionals in other industries like banking insurance or underwriting or testing or development uh, developers if they are looking at getting into the ba role uh, this is again a great certification and people who manage BAs, you may not be a ba by yourself but you want to understand what is business analysis then this is a great certification to have Coming to the eligibility criteria, it's one of the simplest schemes, uh, has no expectation on education, has no expectation on work experience, even has no expectation on training. So you don't have to take a formal training to be BA certified, but having a training always helps you know, because you are being mentored, you're being coached, there's somebody to help you uh, with your doubts and clarification. So that expedites the process but it's not mandatory for you to uh, go through a training. If you feel confident that you can study resources and get through ECBA, it's well and good. 
uh, there are no expectation on references as well only thing you must agree to the iib terms uh, and code of conduct which is not very hard to uh, achieve then comes um, uh, the guidebook the guidebook is uh, babok v3 uh, guide which is the the latest version of babok uh, it excludes perspectives it excludes strategy analysis and solution evaluation so you have lesser content for ecba the questions are directly from the ba book that's why we call them as knowledge based questions the exam duration is 1 hour 50 multiple choice questions and typically you need 60 to 80 hours of preparation uh, to go through the certification process the mode of exam is live web proctored exam uh, that is what you have to remember then coming down to um, the different weightages that you will see in the exam let me take you through that uh, so the weightages are something like uh, 2.5% for ba and ba profession uh, which is very simple introduction to business analysis 5% on something called underlying competencies 5% on ba key concepts 17 and 1/2% for techniques 5% on ba planning and monitoring 20% on elicitation and collaboration 20% on requirements life cycle management and 25% on requirements analysis as i said before three knowledge areas are not there um perspectives is not exactly knowledge area but a chapter in ba book uh, so perspectives are not there solution evaluation is not there and strategy analysis isn't there in the test coming to the fees part of it uh, you have to pay 250 dollar if you are in region 3 and you have to pay 334 dollar if you are in region 1 the middle one is slightly different um, then you can take the test as many times as you like there is no restriction and as i said before the certificate is valid for lifetime so let me take you through some of the success stories that people have experienced with ecba certification so one of them happens to be lauren smith uh he wanted a job in a pharma company particular pharma company and he did ecba and then subsequently he did ccba as well and that enabled him to get into that particular role uh nadir again uh, was looking for a role within his company he got this done and then he got a promoted into um is ba role uh, raja is again a very interesting case study for us uh, he was really struggling for a job uh, as a new ba um so he took this ecba training and certification he got into the ba role and i am very glad to say that today he is at the level of associate vice president in just about 6 7 years time frame that's an amazing career rise that i have seen so thank you for uh, watching this short video you can get a lot more details about us uh, go and visit uh, our website www.adaptiveus.com and if you have any questions you can write to us as well Uh, it's cs that's customer success at the rate adaptiveus.com thank you so much for hearing me today and i hope uh, we will have an opportunity to interact and i wish you good luck with your iiba certification journey thank you